Hello, welcome to course planning for grade nines entering grade 10 for September 2022. My name is Katherine Walton and together with my colleague, Mr. Stuart McCallan, we oversee grades 10, 11, and 12. Grade 10 is an important year because students begin to collect credits towards graduation. Over the next three years, students are required to finish 80 credits, and at four credits per course, this works out to 20 classes. Some of them will be required, elective, and in grade 12, they will have their career life connections, which includes a capstone project. Required courses include English 10, 11, and 12, two years of a social science and math, grade 10 PE and CLE, grade 12 CLC, and finally, at some point over grade 10, 11, and 12, students must, must take one fine art or applied skill course. Also required to graduate are three provincial assessments. These assessments are graded on a scale from one to four, four being the highest. At grade 10, students will write the literacy and numeracy assessment, and at grade 12, they will write a second literacy assessment. All are mandatory for graduation. At this time, UBC is requiring a three on the literary assessment 12 for acceptance into their school. At West Van Secondary, we offer the International Baccalaureate Program. This is an accelerated and enriched program that starts in grade 10 with pre-diploma or PDP classes. We offer English, socials, second languages, science, and math at this level. Student interested in these classes should choose them during course planning. In April, our IB coordinator, Mrs. Pohn, will review choices and accept students into the program. Acceptance is based on an entrance test, grade nine marks, teacher recommendations, and an interview. Current West End Secondary students will be writing this test in April, but if you are a new student to West Van, then you should book a time to write the test online on the IB website. The grade 10 timetable is made up of eight in timetable classes and any optional AM or PM classes that the student may choose. We offer five streams of English 10 at West Van Secondary. English 10 PDP is for students wanting a higher level enriched program. Our composition and creative writing are our regular stream students. Spoken language is for our high level ELL students and Transitional English 10 is for our beginner emerging ELL students. Our regular stream of math is the Foundations of Math and Pre-Calculus 10 program. For those students who are wishing a less rigorous math program, then the Workplace Math 10 is appropriate for them. And lastly, the Enriched Math 10 PDP class is a higher level, fast-paced, enriched, and accelerated program. Students taking Math 10 PDP are those who are interested in doing the higher level IB Math program. If you are in doubt as to which program you should be signing up for, talk to your teacher for recommendations. Our physical and health education program at grade 10 is split into girls and boys. Students do have the opportunity to take the leadership program, which is co-ed and requires 25 hours of service, or they have the option of taking the fitness class, which does require a rec center pass. Career Life Education 10 is a mandatory course in the timetable and covers topics such as personal health, post-secondary options and career exploration, and personal finances. Most students will take CLE 10 as one of their eight classes, but some like to fit in an extra elective. In that case, there are some options for these students. They can take CLE 10 after school at West Van Secondary as a blended course. 
This means they have class once every two weeks and are sent home with projects and research to do on their own. Or they could also take it during the summer or at their own pace at an online school. In addition to the six required courses that I've just talked about, students have the option of choosing two electives. Learning support is considered an elective at this point, and also languages are considered an elective. And remember that students do have to take one fine art or applied skill sometime in the three years before graduation. At West End Secondary, we are fortunate to be able to offer four different languages, French, Mandarin, Spanish, and Japanese. We are able to offer Mandarin, Spanish, and Japanese at the beginner level, and students wishing to take these courses should choose the grade 10 level. It's important also to know that languages are not necessary for graduation, but they are required by UBC and SFU. Students who are currently in Spanish, Japanese, or Mandarin 9 would take Spanish, Japanese, or Mandarin 11. Those in French 9 would continue on to French 10 next year. We are very fortunate at West Van Secondary to offer a variety of elective credits for students to choose. A common question that we get is whether or not they can start something new at grade 10 or whether they have to continue on with their grade 9 elective. And it is important for students to know that yes, they can start a new elective at any grade. They can choose from computer, art, music courses, theater arts and home ex, business is now available to them, business classes, and lastly our technology department. It is important to note that there are a few courses that have limited enrollment and a recommendation or an application is required. The leadership class is one that requires a recommendation. We ask that students audition for theater production, dance company, or rock band. And lastly, the IB requires an application. And of course, all the PDP classes are also limited enrollment. Mr. McCallan and I will be visiting grade 9 classes from February 7th to 16th. At this time, we'll be doing a very similar presentation, but in much more detail. We will also ensure at this time that all students are able to log into their My Education BC portal. By Friday, Friday February 25th, we expect all students to have their choices entered into the portal and their forms handed in. We will, however, accept changes right up until March 11th. To do so, students should come into the counseling office and see us in person. If you have any questions or concerns at all, don't hesitate to contact Mr. McCallan or myself. Uh, even better, have your son or daughter drop into the counseling office and have a chat with us in person. Thanks very much.